After Mayor Frank Scott Jr.'s announcement for another sales tax increase proposal, there are some questions about what exactly will be included. Like the zoo, which was one of his big pushes for his last tax increase proposal that failed in 2021. Tonight, THV 11's Ashley Godwin finds out if it's a possibility, plus how other funding has allowed for more upgrades that could be a game changer. What we're looking at doing is going to be one of the most significant upgrades that the zoo has ever seen. A bond that was passed last year by voters will give the zoo the ability to add several different upgrades to the facility. That's going to provide us with about $5 million that we're also going to match with some private funding. With the extra money, the front of the zoo could take a whole new look in a couple of years. We're going to be upgrading our amphitheater where we do our animal ambassador shows and we're also going to be upgrading our lemur habitat area and also the area where our spider monkeys used to be. The question still remains if the zoo will be a part of Mayor Frank Scott Jr's newly announced sales tax initiative, but the director remains hopeful. Whenever we invest in the zoo, it's a huge economic investment in central Arkansas. Uh, we see a lot of tourists come to the zoo. We see a lot of payoff in the education that we're able to provide. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Thank you, Ashley. The director says this time of year is one of the busiest for the zoo, and they could see up to 5,000 people a day come through during spring break.